What, what is surfing as an experience for them? What is their relationship to the wave? What do they want to feel? And what are their goals? And then that really sets the tone and, and the approach of where we go. Dane is a really, really smart guy. He's really smart and he really understands surfboards. He's been shaping boards himself a bit and doing a great job. So it's a, it's a big challenge to shape for him in like a really good way because he knows what he wants. He knows what he wants to feel. He's able to articulate it. He knows immediately when he doesn't feel it and he's got great understanding of, of how to tweak stuff. You know, recently when we were working on uh, his latest model, the black and white, we were going through several iterations after the original hand shape and at one point he came in and he said, you know, I think we just need to scrub a little bit of the rail rocker underneath the front foot. Just push it forward a little bit and he went like that. And I literally did exactly what he said and it was like instantly way better. So that's a pretty high level of surfboard understanding, uh, the ability to know what you are feeling and then translate that to your shaper. So man, Dane is so fun to work with. Being that it was Dane and I, I shape Dane's boards regularly, I, I didn't want to just put in there what I normally shape for Dane. Campbell Brothers and Channel Islands have been kind of talking about this collaboration and getting together a bit and um, it seemed like a great opportunity to put something different under Dane's feet for it, you know, since the whole thing is he gets to ride different boards and we thought it'd be great to just have the Bonzer in the mix of like, you know, high performance short boards across the world. Although it works well, extremely well as a high performance shortboard, the timing, the leverage and everything is a bit different. So when somebody who hasn't ridden the boards very often gets on one, you know, it takes, it takes a bit to get used to it and, and that doesn't always happen in the first five waves. So we were just hoping that uh, it would provide some variety and that uh, obviously like to see, you know, see how Dane uh, performed on it. It was the first time that I got to shape a board specifically for the Bonzer and kind of create a platform for that. So I just felt really honored to be doing it with Malcolm. One of the beauties of, of uh, working together now with CI and with the collaboration is that um, we get to bring a little bit more emphasis into what we do do with our high performance short boards. We're proud that the Bonzer has been able to sustain all these years and still um, we feel still be at the cutting edge of, of surfboard design.